So do you know your food allergies? So one man's meat is another man's poison. Knowing your food allergies is so important. You may think you're eating healthy, but if you're eating foods you're allergic to, it may actually be causing you symptoms. And like I said, a lot of food allergies are not obvious. So over the years, I've done food allergy tests on patients and they were blown away when they got the report. They had no idea. They were eating those foods every day. So the test I like to do is the IgE immunocap assay for a very extensive list of foods. Like I'll typically run 36 foods. And I find this test to be the best way to test for food allergies. It's more sensitive than the skin test. So for something to be positive on the skin test, it has to be of a certain severity, whereas the blood test will pick up on very minor allergies. And it gives us the quantitative severity. So then we can decide what, you know, whether we need to eliminate that food or reduce that food from your diet. The IgE immunocap test is also considered very medically valid. It's used in allergy publications internationally. And so it's something that we can follow if you want to repeat it you know, five years later, we can always repeat the test. The most common food allergies that we see are gluten, which is the protein in, in all wheat products, dairy, which is cow's milk, soy, eggs, peanuts, and also shellfish. So unfortunately, there is no very valid test for food sensitivities. There's a lot of tests out there, but I've used them over the years, and none of them are considered medically valid, and they can lead to a lot of confusion. So my preference is not to use any of those tests for food sensitivities. So what I like to do is do the valid one for food allergies, rule that out, and then we can figure out your food sensitivities based on elimination. So let me give you an example. Let's say you did your blood test and your IgE to wheat was negative. So you're not allergic to wheat, but when you cut out wheat from your diet, you feel great. And when you add it back, you feel bloated and you get a headache. Then I would say you are sensitive to wheat and it may be worth continue, continue to eliminate wheat from your diet.